July, Sylvester and Queenberg. Stay with us. Saying birds of a feather flock together, but can animals who are mortal enemies play together? A North Shelby County couple said it was happening at their home. Debbie McIntyre is the story. Pepper the parakeet doesn't like to be cooped up in his cage all day. So his owner, John Stroud, takes him out to play with the cat. We just had him loose one day and he started playing together. And uh, the cat, you know, it wasn't really hurt the bird. It was just kind of knocking around with his paw. And sometimes, like today, there's a lot of knocking around. Just like people, animals have their off days too. Now Carmel Troll was ready to play with his friend, but Pepper isn't. <laughs> But more often than not, they're best buddies. The one time I had him, uh, they were playing in the floor, and I, I didn't do nothing over it. And I went over to look, and the cat had the bird, but he was between his paw, and um, both of them were trying to sleep. He left them here all day, but the bird out of the cage, and the cat in the house, and the cat won't hurt him. The cells say they have friends who come over just to see for themselves that a cat and a bird can live together. The South think the secret may be that they bought the animals when they were only a few weeks old. And they just don't know they're not supposed to like each other. And for Pecker, that's good news. Betty McIntyre, News 3. Besides, don't advise anyone else to put their bird and cat together since you may not get the same result. Oh, I hope Pecker's insurance is paid off. Well, I don't think he can. That's the name of the number one wife. Okay, of course.